Hey, Christy Glass here. It is the last, second to last day of November. You're seeing this on the last day of November. I have been running around my apartment. You should see what is around me. Trying to get ready for November Patreon, only to realize that this is the month that I don't give something away. Because it's a crazy time of year. I'm 100% sure I designed it that way so that I wouldn't be stressed. And look at me, I'm already stressed. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to show you what I wanted to show you. And then you can be excited because next month, or the month after, something in this pile is going to be in the giveaway. So this is sort of a stash acquisitions. It's sort of a real time check in. It's just hanging out with me for the next little while. My hair isn't even dry yet because today was the day I did a little jog. I jog. I try to jog twice a week, which means I usually wash my hair that day. And I don't even have time to dry my hair in this holiday season because it's crazy pants. Um, since this is more real time than most of my videos, I just want to check in about a couple things. So I want to start with November's month of Huga. I hope you enjoyed Scandinavia as much as I enjoyed going and making these videos for you. I hope you learned something, had some great takeaways. I haven't been great about replying to comments lately because I'm just trying to grow this business, this Christy Glass Knits jobby, and I don't that is last on the list uh, of things that I get to because the mom life is a little overwhelming uh, right now. Sometimes I wonder, how would Christy Glassnitz benefit from an employee? <laughs> There's a lot going on! Uh, so, But I know you guys are understanding and don't care and you just want good, fun content and things to knit too. So thank you for understanding and just know I am putting in as much energy as I can and doing the best I can and having uh, just a ton of fun. In December, I have some regular interviews scheduled, but I'm also going to try to do some Vlogmas, which is, well, what I think it is, is daily vlogging. So I used to do daily vlogging years back and haven't done it in a while. So it's going to be fun to get my camera out and go on some city holiday Christmassy nitty adventures. Uh, in the meantime, we're doing the Christmas sweater cal knit along over on my Ravelry page. I'm not sure what I'm gonna give away yet for that. Um, but I'm going to come up with a prize. And there are some beautiful finished objects. I finished mine, and I'm going to debut that next week. So I'm very excited to show that to you. This year, I'm trying to make the ugly sweater that I made last year even uglier with some actual live blinking lights. So that's a project I've been working on. I have the lights in place, but they're falling through the sweater. So I need to figure out how to attach them, and it's puzzling me right now. I am working on my charity knitting for this season is the Knit a Ball Pit with Mochi Mochi World. Tonight, as of this taping, tonight I'm heading over to Knitty City to knit a ball for the ball pit with some of y'all. And then we're also going to be doing that on December 20th. So if you're in the city from 6 to 8, December 20th at Knitty City, we are going to continue the knitting balls for the Knit Ball Pit. It's an artistic display that will be at Vogue Knitting Live New York in January, but then the balls are going to the American Foundation for Children with AIDS. I think I got that right. And we're having a funny cloud day, so now I have a shadow, but you know, I don't have a light kit. I'm just, just doing my best. Anyway, so that's a really good charity knitting cause. The pattern is free. If you go to Ravelry, it's called Knit Ball Pit, I believe, and you can just download it right away, put it into your phone. You can knit it in the round or you can knit it flat. So if you are even a beginner knitter, you can do this. Also, if you are a knitter stuck in Scarfland, I highly recommend taking a look at this pattern because it's free, it's for a good cause, and it helps you learn how to knit in the round with very low stakes. And once you pick up that skill, it can open your world to knitting more three-dimensional objects, which is really fun, especially around the holidays when you wanna to knit toys or things like that. Just remember, no plastic on those balls. Uh, you're going to, if you want to add details like a face or hair, just do it with the yarn itself. And they're due on January 3rd to Anna and her address is also there on her blog post which I will link underneath this video. So you have about one month to knit a ball pit and what I've suggested on my Insta stories is maybe you choose a show that you watch a few episodes of and you dedicate those two episodes to knitting a ball for the ball pit, see how many you can get done, something like that. Um, okay, so let me just show you what I'm working on, some yarn that I've gotten. I just want to like catch you up on all the things because it starts, it starts, it starts getting 
the piles get high. And some of this will be repeated later because it goes with a specific video that's coming out on my channel, but it's sort of nice to have it all gathered here right now because it's, it's what's happening now. People ask me about my lipstick a lot and my lipstick gives me an allergic reaction, so I don't have any on today. I'm giving my lips a little bit of a break. I'm so sad about it too. It's the worst. Okay, let's talk about some gear first. I have some really fun new gear from Knitter's Pride. First, this ring. <clears throat> this is a knit counter ring, and it took me a while to figure out that there is a mark, so this silver mark right here, that's the place you pay attention to for your numbers. <laughs> it took me a while to figure that out. But you put it on, mine fits my pointer finger, and then you can move, wait, let me just show you on this one. You can move the number, so like, let's say you're at zero, so you can move the number, look. Now I'm on one. Now I'm on two. Get it? So you wear it on your finger while you're doing a part of your project in which you have to count, and I've used it, and I like it. <gasps> I really like it. So this is the Knit Counter Ring, and they have a few different sizes. I think mine is a 7. I noticed one that's a 10, so I think a 10 would probably fit on your thumb. The 7 doesn't. Also from Knitter's Pride, I got the Ginger Interchangeable Deluxe Set. Now, I haven't been able to find an interchangeable set that I am in love with yet. So I just end up going back to my stock of circular needles and buying new needles if one's already occupied on my project and it's a problem. But this is really fun and I've tried it out. It's the uh, ginger, here I'll just show you the. And it looks like, I'm reading on the back here, it says 350 plus female artisans in our factory in India work on these needles. So that's a good cause. It comes in this beautiful case and I love the magnet feature here. And then inside are all these beautiful needles. So here they are. They are nice and smooth, really smooth. And then you can put your pattern here and look, this is magnetic. These are all magnets. So you move it up and down and then you can put your place in your pattern, which is really nice. And then in here, in this pocket, are the tools that you need, the cables and all the things. So this is nice leather. It's really high quality. I don't know what the price point is on this, but it's a beautiful, beautiful set. Let me just get, oh look, there's even a pen in the same wood. I already have, you can see there's a pair missing. I'm trying to remember which project has the needles on it. They're not too pointy. They're, they're not the pointiest right there. They're kind of a nice, um, you're, your yarn won't split, but it won't hurt your fingers either. And so it's just really well made. So thank you Knitter's Pride for sending that to me. And if you are looking for a gift for a knitter, this is definitely a nice gift. Also, they sent me the Zing single-ended crochet hook set with nine crochet hooks from C to J. And you can see there are some missing because I've been using them. And it's the same idea where you have this really nice thumb grip See the nice thumb grip right there? You always, have, you always need a place for your thumb. And then this metal is so nice and slick that your work just moves so quickly. I like to be a fast crocheter and a fast knitter. I really do. And I love a set, a set of crochet hooks. I think I'm more of a crochet hook set lady than an interchangeable knitting set lady, but I'm trying to get on board with that and get better. So this is the Knitter's Pride Zing crochet set, which is also another great gift. Um, so I love the new gadgets from Knitter's Pride. Thank you for sending that to me very much. Uh, let's see, what else can I talk about? Okay, this is a new to me company that sent me a bunch of stuff that I am excited to try and I also want to send some to you guys. So this is the unique, so this is, this company is called Earth, U-R-T-H. And let me see, I want to get a tag here. So this is hand dyed, made in Turkey. Um, I believe this is naturally dyed yarn. The website is your earthyarns.com, U-R-T-H yarns.com. Each skein of earth yarns plants a tree in Africa. 
Planting trees not only prevents soil degradation, but provides food, marketable products, and fuel wood for families, increasing their income by 400%. So knit one equals plant one. So see this on their label? Isn't that beautiful? Now this is worsted weight. This is self-striping, hand-dyed self-striping, extra fine superwash merino. Look at those colors here. That's a better angle. Isn't that beautiful? This is their worsted. This is so soft. And then this is uh, the fingering, same deal. This is color 3013, lot 386. What color is this one? This one is 4,935, 4, lot 35. So I guess they just use numbers for their, for their dye lots. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, that is so, look at that green. I love a good green. Okay, that's beautiful. This is called Unique. This is, oh, unique fingering, and that was unique worsted. <sighs> I can do better. Okay, this is 435 yards. And then this fingering is Harvest. Naturally hand-dyed, extra fine, super, superwash merino. Okay, so the color is Thuja, T-H-U-J-A. And this is beautiful. This is kind of like almost a navy purple black. Is that, is that a technical term? It's maybe almost purpley. It's so soft. It's so nice. Okay, and then this one is, again, the Harvest Worsted. So I guess Harvest isn't the variegated one. This is also naturally dyed. This is called Grape Leaf. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's so soft. I think it's spun in a way where they take a bunch of really fine, like, look, see how many see how many strands there are and then they're spun together and I love a spin like this I really love a spin like this and then there's a unique sock kit so this is what it will look like which is shocking this is color number 60 and I don't do I open it in two separate cakes so you get the same sock isn't that gorgeous so beautiful and such a good cause because they're in partnership with Trees for the Future. Each pair of socks plants a tree. Oh, you know, that is a beautiful gift for your knitter friends. That is this little set right here. I didn't mean for this to be a what to give for the holidays, but it's turning out to be like that. So thank you, Earth, for sending me that new to me yarn. Very fun. My last Green Mountain Spinnery kit came, and this is a Swedish mittens set with a little, I don't, what is this? Oh, handy gauge ruler. You can't barely see it, it's clear. Look at how beautiful this yarn is. Green Mountain has such beautiful yarn. This green one is the Weekend Wool Two Ply Worsted Weight in Spruce. It was so nice to open the mail and have a Christmassy project. And this is Lamb's Wool Two Ply Worsted Weight from Meadow Wood Farms. And I love how they try to introduce you in ivory. They introduce you to new wool with their club. And the Swedish mittens, look how cute they are. Isn't that cute? So this would be a wonderful like Christmas Eve cast on. I love it. Thank you, Green Mountain. I was at Chelsea Yarns last week, two weeks ago, and Marionated Yarn was there, plus Bloom Handmade Studio. And Bloom Handmade Studio gifted me this beautiful cowl with pom-poms. And I wore it to the alpaca festival I went to in Pennsylvania. Anyway, while I was there, so Bloom Handmade Studio, she designs patterns, and this one pattern she she did with Marionated, it's called Marilyn's Cowl and Hat, designed by Carolyn Bloom, and then of Bloom Handmade Studios, and then the um, yarn is Marionated Yarns. And this is the Princess Quail colorway. It's a kit to do the whole thing. The, I think it's a round, it's a, it's a cowl, but it's a scarf that's in the round, and then a hat. So you, all the yarn you need for both. So this is the patterns, and this yarn is so beautiful. And she came up to me and she's like, these are your colors, right? So Carolyn and I are going to do an interview in the new year. This is lace. It is so beautiful. It's called Fairy's Breath. How gorgeous. And then you hold it with the mohair. Fairy's Breath. How perfect is that name? And then you get all this gradient, too, to make the perfect gradient. 
it's so spectacular. I know that they have these for sale at Chelsea Yarns. I imagine Marinated Yarns or Bloom Handmade could hook you up with finding this kit as well. But that was such a generous gift and I just love it. And this reminds me, actually, I was in Bliss Yarns in Nashville, Tennessee last week and I was struck by, well actually I need to talk about a few things, so let me backtrack. Last month's Patreon winner won all of the minis from Hooker's Corner and I was about to send it out when I saw on Instagram that Hooker's Corner lost everything in the Paradise Fire. I know we all probably know someone or have like a six degree separation with people who lost so much in that fire. So I asked the winner, Kim, if I could, instead of sending her the minis, if I could auction them off and then give the money back to Hooker's Corner, and of course she said yes. And Leslie, Les Knits won that auction, so we were able to send, I think it was $320 or $330 to Hooker's Corner. And that kit of minis reappeared at Bliss Yarns in Nashville, and it was this little tiny basket on the floor and it had two kits for the Marled Mania, is it Marled Mania or Marled Magic? That sweater that Stephen West came out with a little while ago. And it was Hooker's Corner yarn, kind of in this pink color. It was two skeins of that and then all the minis. I had never thought of a pink Marled Mania before. I had never thought of taking all of my indie dyed yarns and making it a Marled Mania sweater. So I looked at it and I was like, oh, I just have so many projects, I cannot buy this, but what a great idea. And I did end up with a few Hooker's Corner from Bliss Yarns, or just one, one. And this is the Bliss color. So this is from Hooker's Corner. It's the Bliss colorway. And Bliss Yarns has a lot of her yarn, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take her to get back into her dyeing. So if you want Hooker's Corner, you should call Bliss and order some. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful color. And I will, I'll stay on Bliss for a second. So... We did a, a yarn shop tour. We didn't have time for a full sit down interview. And I did show this at the end of that video, but I'll show it here now because some of this is gonna go to a few lucky winners because they're very specific to Nashville. So this is the Fred Sock Nashville colorway. Look at that beautiful color work. It is so bright. It's so bright. This is by um, Rain's Obsessive Stitchery. Also, I have this Big Sky Yarn Co. And all of these were new to me. Like, I learned so much at the Bliss Yarn Shop tour. This is Music Row, which is another nod to Nashville. Also, another Bliss colorway by uh, Rain's Obsessive Stitchery. This is also Bliss. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And this one is Miss Babs, and she dyed this for um, the birthday jubilee, Babs' birthday, 2018. So this is pretty specific to 2018. They have a lot of Miss Babs at Bliss as well. And then I picked out this one because it's Harry Potter themed. It's Forbidden Fiber Company, and this is the Yule Ball colorway. I'm really into Harry Potter right now. I've always been a Harry Potter fan. It's not like it's new. But I'm just having a moment about Harry Potter and I had to have it. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. So Bliss Yarns has so much cool stuff. I did get a couple project bags and she gifted all of this to me, which was so nice. She also made me a hat, which I've been wearing on Instagram. You've probably seen it. It has a giant blue pom-pom. It's everything. Love it. Um, speaking of gifting me things, Sandy by the Lakeside graciously sent me bags. I messaged her and said, I really would love to buy a bag. I always miss the updates. And she just sent me some because she's generous like that. And we're gonna try to hook, hook up on, um, during Vogue Knitting Live in January so we can do an interview. So that'll be so fun. Here's a small one with the little tassel. I guess, I think she said this one normally comes with a gray tassel, but she said I needed more pink, which is true. She also said I could give it to one of my daughters, which I'm, maybe I will, maybe I won't. And then this Rifle Paper Company one, which I am obsessed with. I cannot wait to put a project in this. So thank you so much, Sandy by the Lakeside. She also gave me some tea and one of her pins, which is already occupied somewhere else, so I can't show that right now. I already put it on something. Okay, what's next? Um, I went to Conversational Threads in Pennsylvania, and we have an interview coming up. That is Lavanya Patricella's local yarn shop where she works and teaches. And I picked up, well, she gifted me a fringe bag, the cream one with the black squiggles, which Olive has already stolen. Thank you, Olive. And she gifted me some of this beautiful silk and baby camel. I have never had 
camel, except I did. I do have one skein of camel from Bijou Basin, the Gobi. This is my second camel, and it is so crazy soft. So she gifted me this Coolery camel yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? It looks like it's going to be really drapey because it's silk. So thank you for that. And also, I picked up some local yarn there from Winterside Farm, Dorsets and Coriadales in Lenhartsville, Pennsylvania. I got yarn to make a sweater that's in the new pom-pom. Are you guys following my tr train of brain here? This is like pretty, <laughs> this is pretty intense today. Pom-pom came and Caitlin's sweater is here. And so I'm going to knit this with it. I could change my mind, but body and color work. So really excited about that, to have local yarn from Pennsylvania. Also when I was in Pennsylvania, oh, I got this tote from there too. All yarn is equal, but some yarn is more equal than others, George Orwell, animal yarn. That's funny. That's funny. Uh, and then at the alpaca festival, I picked up this basket from the yarn truck there called Froggit Yarns, and I have a lot of great yarn on their truck. So. Excited about that basket. I also went to the Loop London pop-up at Mayak Here Now Space, and I did an interview with the owner of Loop London. Guys, I'm trying to get around for you. Oh, it's been so fun, and I went away with one skein that she gifted me from Ching Fibers, and it's so beautiful. It's called Lullaby, and I love all the colors happening. It's not a lot of yardage, so I'm thinking, I have this ball from, I think this is from Pearl Soho. This was a prop at a photo shoot. I believe this is like the the Pearl Soho, maybe Merino, chunky, maybe? And so I think maybe together they're gonna be something. Maybe I'll mix them together. Or maybe the middle of the, like a hat, maybe the middle of it will have this in it. I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out because I really wanna make a hat with this, but it's just not quite enough yardage. Speaking of hats, I got this skein from Espas Trico, which is, I think it's called Boombox. It's Aaron Waite. And I have some leftover mohair from a little sweater I made, which is going to debut next month, January. And I think maybe I need to make a pull the wool over with these two guys. Just my thoughts. I get in a hat mood around Christmas time, so we'll see. Speaking of hats, I've been seeing the Hala hat everywhere, and I have one skein of this Ching Fibers Melted Baby Surrey Alpaca, which is stupid because I only have one skein, so I think I'm going to make the Hala hat with this skein and then a mix of these three. So I have this sparkle from Asylum Fibers, which is called Twinkle Toes, Cece's Chaos from her birthday. I have leftover of this um, Madeline Tosh from my unicorn sweater. And I have the National Parks collection from Espas Trico also. So I think these are gonna be a holla hat. So maybe I can get three hats done around the holidays. I do like a hat. Sweet Skein Mine has sent me some yarn. I have this skein, A Midsummer Knit Dream, that I'd love to give away to a patron. I'm pretty sure that um, she sent me some more, but it's at my house in the stash bin. Speaking of yarn that I have up at the house in my craft room, look at this, sorry, look at this gold, it's so beautiful. I have some beautiful yarn from Denmark. The company is called Burke and Berg, and they sent me the most beautiful yarn in my colors, pinks and purples. I'm gonna show you a little bit right here that I put on my Insta story because that's also at my house right now, but all of this is beautiful yarn that people have gifted me that was new to me and I always wanna share what's new to me with you guys. I recently did an interview with Brooklyn Boy Knits and so this will be on it in March because he's gonna be on Manch. And if you don't know what Manch is, it's Manch, celebrating men who knit in the month of March. Manch, get it? It's silly. And it turns out it's Women's History Month in March. I didn't know, sorry. I can't change it now because I like it. But he partnered with Knitting Wolf Luxury Yarns in um, California, it looks like. Or no, Canada. Sorry. Knittingwolf.ca, that's Canada. And this is Lewis's No Bully Blues, hashtag hat not hate, because he was working on a campaign to knit blue hats to prevent bullying. This is worsted weight. It's a really substantial skein of yarn that I may pay forward to you guys. It's so beautiful. Look at this turquoise color. And I signed up for the reindeer, the Lost Reindeer Club from Bull and Vine. I've only opened one package. I'm saving the other package for December's Vlogmas, but 
I have opened one package. It's the blitzed color. Uh, it's the blitzed base, which means it's sparkly. And I have Dasher and Donner right here. So pretty. Kristen is such a talented dyer. And you have to really kind of get in there to appreciate what's going on. Like, look at this backside. Look at backside of Donner. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? She's so talented. I signed up for this one and I signed up for the Machete Shop Advent. I've never done this before, so it's fun to get surprises in the mail. After Rhinebeck was winding down, I knew that I had really missed out by not buying the nightshades at Harrisville, so I bought some. And the minute it arrived, Olive took it and declared it was her next sweater. So this is nightshade. So what it is, is it's like a black yarn that's milled with a collar. So if you look really closely, you can see, I'm gonna give you a chance to see if you can tell what color this one is, and then I'm gonna say what color it is. You see that? It's orange. So there's olive green and I think purple. I don't know the other ones, but I chose orange. And she just popped that right out and was like, yep, I'm making a sweater. So we started looking at patterns and I think she's gonna knit a car bath. She's not too far along yet, but I wanted to show that to you because it's so beautiful and I may have to buy another sweater's quantity for myself. My other oldest daughter has said, mom, please, please, please knit me a sweater. I'm ready for a sweater. So we, again, we looked at all the patterns, all the yarns, and she settled on Peace Fleece. And this is the, let's see, what color? This is the Negotiation Gray. So it's gonna be a really nice neutral, and it has enough texture that it will be fun for me to knit. And I think we're going to do the sweater by Pam Allen that was in the Rhinebeck sweater video, and I can't remember the name of it right now, but I'll keep you posted. I feel like it's called Willow. Does that sound right? I'm getting tired showing you all of this. I was gonna show you a few whips, but I think I'm gonna save those. Um, this is what's been piling up right now. This is what's new to me. This is what's going on with me right now. I have some really specific knitting goals to get through between now and the end of the year. I have four weeks. I've knit, I think, 42 items this year. 46 if you count the fact that I knit four stockings. I only counted it as one project, but it's four stockings. So 46 projects with four weeks left in the year is almost a project a week. It's pretty good. And I am almost done with two right now. I could actually, if my life depended on it, I could finish one today and maybe one tomorrow, but life doesn't leave time for that. So maybe by the weekend I'll have two more finished objects and that will put me up to 48. And then I'll technically have four weeks to finish four projects. Do you think I could do a project a week? Can I get 52 done in 2018? I don't know. You'll have to come back and see. But for now, I am Christy Glassnitz signing off. There are no giveaways this month, Patreon, but I just want to say thank you for being my patron. The Patreon account has really been building up. It really does make a difference in my life to get paid for what I do. And I try to give back with these giveaways and extra videos. And I am just so grateful that you have made all the difference this year. And if you are interested in being one of my patrons, even a dollar a month really goes a long way. And you can find all the information for that underneath this video also. And I will see you next month. I have lots of goodies in store for you. Bye.